Good afternoon. Right now at noon, all eyes are on the tropics as we track tropical storm or actually depression, depression, tropical depression number nine, and it could soon become a hurricane. Not quite named just yet, and South Florida is on alert right now. Our area is in the forecast cone as the system continues to move through the Caribbean. And with South Florida in that cone of concern, now is the time, of course, to make sure your family is ready for any possible impact. Lines already for gas very long at the Costco and Pembroke Pines this morning. We've got our weather authority meteorologist Brandon Orr standing by. So, so Brandon, we're looking, but but we still got some time to figure out what's going to happen here. Yes, and we need that time to figure out what's going to happen. There's still a lot of uncertainty because any impacts that we would feel here in South Florida are still about four days out. So that's why things are still a little bit uncertain in the long range. Meanwhile, here's the latest 11 a.m. advisory. Max winds at 35 miles per hour, so this is still a depression. Any bump in these winds, it will become tropical storm early mean, which could happen as early as later on today or throughout the day tomorrow. I've been watching hurricane hunters. Their data has been coming in. They've been flying their plane through this storm and found the center to be about here. Look where all the thunderstorms are. So all the storms are being blown to one side. It's a very disorganized storm system is what I'm seeing on on satellite. And I really don't expect much strengthening in the next 24 hours. So when we wake up even tomorrow morning, I expect this to be a tropical storm, but not much more than a weak tropical storm storm. This is the opportunity for this to rapidly strengthen is after it moves past Jamaica, which will likely move to the south of Jamaica, and it's in the vicinity of the Cayman Islands. This is going to happen during the back half of the weekend, so Sunday and the Monday. Conditions out here are pretty ripe for a rapid intensification. Not only will that strong wind shear that's keeping it weak now let up, but the water out here is warm, and it's warm at a very large depth, so we could see this intensify rapidly as it crosses Cuba and moves into the southeastern Gulf. The one change I have notice from the 5 a.m. advisory to this new one as they now bring this up to a category three hurricane as it approaches somewhere along the Florida coastline. If it moves on the right side of this cone more towards Miami, Fort Lauderdale, the Keys, of course, we would see more impacts and that means hurricane conditions would be possible, especially during the day on Tuesday, lasting into Wednesday on the left side of this cone, moving closer to about Tampa, fewer impacts, but still more of a heavy rain threat, some occasional rain bands, but overall not too bad in terms of conditions here. So that's a wide range of possibilities that we need to pin down in the couple next couple of days. Our models do cluster anywhere from Miami over to Tampa. So these are the two locations that we're targeting at least for right now. Stick with us throughout the day today, especially as we go into the weekend. We'll be able to get more details for you, and I'll be back with a little bit on what possible impacts we could see and more specific timing coming up.